Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Today I want to talk to you about Stabila's plate level and they just sent me a maintenance kit that we're going to use to kind of rebuild the innards uh, of this level. Now, the reason they do this, or one of the reasons, is it be there's a locking mechanism right here and sometimes those wear out. So if you like this video, don't forget to click that subscribe button. I've never done this before, so be, uh, please be patient with me. We're gonna do our best to make this happen. Let's go ahead and open this up. It's still stapled shut. I haven't looked at it, I haven't read it or anything, but it says maintenance kit, plate level, Fit Series 106T. Let's pull these parts out. So there's a couple plastic rail parts, a couple top and bottom insert pieces. Looks like a spring and a couple white top and bottom pieces as well. Oh, there's that locker. Okay, and then some kind of a funky little part there and some instructions. Okay, so pull all the parts out. So I'm gonna put some of these, since I'm doing this on a couple saw horses and a piece of lumber, I'm gonna go ahead and set these parts to the side. I'm gonna put all these delicate pieces in this tray as well, because a couple small screws, a spring, a couple Allen wrenches and a couple of sleeves of metal sleeves of some sort. Okay, so it says A1, pull out the parts, A2, telling me to unscrew this piece right here. So that's what I'm gonna do. And it looks like they have two Allen wrenches that are the same size. So you can put one on each side and unscrew. There's that one. Okay, now I'll take the other side out. And this one doesn't seem to wanna come out. So it's pretty snug, but you gotta get, there it is, okay. We got the pin out. So what I had to do to get this part out is I had to push through, it's actually right here on the directions. I, I, I should have read the directions a little bit uh, further in advance. To get the other side out, you have to actually push this pin through the side. So now that that's done, A4, they want you to pull all these parts out. So there's a little wear and tear on this. It's not terrible. Oh, so they want you to extend this thing all the way out. Okay, so here we go. Okay, there goes everything. Okay, so there's some wear and tear on these parts. Like here's the part I pulled out right here and here's the replacement part. So this part's completely broken off. So I can see why they want you to do the maintenance and over here, there is definitely some wear and tear on these sliding mechanisms. So probably a good thing we're doing this. And you can see the wear and tear on this one, you know, from it sliding in and out, so on and so forth. So, okay, so now I've got that, and then I've got to pull this piece off. So now I can put all these parts back together. So it looks like they're replacing this with less parts. On the bottom, the big piece goes in. On the top, the small piece goes in. There we go. Make sure it's on the right side, Jay. Okay, so there's the spring-loaded top. So A5, so that's that has to go back in, cinched. Okay, and then A6, these two pieces, the black pieces, there's another spot. those go into okay now we slide that in okay now they want us to put these two parts in probably not with sawdust on them though so these actually overlap you can't really see it but they do overlap so you got to make sure you have your overlap correct when you put those next two parts in then once those go in, then you can put your new piece back in, your locker, which is a cool device. So I wanna make sure that I put it in proper. I'll put the new screw into the pin on one side. I'll tighten that up. And then I'll push it through the back side. And then make sure my locker is there. And this has to go through all that stuff. I had it backwards. Okay, so now I just gotta get this started. Okay, she started. Got it. Okay, now we just gotta take the other new screw and drop it in here. And then we're gonna use both 
Allen wrenches to tighten that back up. Okay, so I guess we're done. It came with an extra couple parts, but I think that's for a different level. So we don't have to use that part. So there you go, guys. Uh, this has been rebuilt now. It'll slide back and forth nice and easy. That feels really good. And it's good to keep that maintenance up on these levels because they are not cheap. We know that. And I use mine all the time. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope somebody learned something about rebuilding their plate level. And I uh, hope that helps you out. If you did get something out of this video, please don't forget to click that subscribe button. Hit the bell icon to be notified when we're putting out new content. Don't forget to share this video with all your friends, family, and your loved ones. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.